So today we um, are going to go over a warm up and some of my favorite booty exercises, but not all of them, just some of them. Now I know there are a lot of videos about this out there, but these are just my personal current favorites. I do like to get at least a day or two a week in of these on top of my regular program, which is not butt focused, it's full body focused. So, here it is. Hello friends, so here I am doing something called an inchworm. I don't know why it's called that, but I guess it makes sense. And in this movement, you're going to be warming up your hamstrings, getting the blood flowing through your arms, and in your core. And then I go right into front and back squat walks. This is also a really good warm up. Um, it's good to go front and backwards because you'll feel it in different places. And you want to sit back as low as you can. And next, I go into kettlebell swings. Now, if you're just starting out at these, um, I recommend you watch a video on how to do a kettlebell swing properly. And it's okay to start out with 10 to 12 reps at a time. Once you get the hang of it, 25 is a piece of cake. Another great warm-up is the side stair step. I don't know if that's what it's called. It's kind of a tongue twister. But it makes sense. I'm stepping up the stairs sideways. <laughs> so, anyways, I find this to be a very good warm-up. I'm still in the warm-up portion of the video. And I don't count how many times I switch back and forth between sides, but I just go for about five minutes and usually get started from here. This right here is probably one of the most convenient butt workouts that I know of or that I do personally because not only is it great for growing your glutes if you're squeezing at the top, but this also helps if you are experiencing knee pain while squatting or lunging to temporarily relieve that. If you want to make it more challenging, you can do one leg at a time. And it's also beneficial to do one leg at a time because you'll ensure that both legs are developing equally. Here's a popular exercise that a lot of people do using various heights uh, to elevate their leg. And the reason why I'm using a stool that isn't super high up is because I only need a stool that is high enough for me to get my maximum range of motion. Now if I use a super high bench, I'm not able to bring my knee all the way down to the ground. So there's no point in using a super high bench. You want to use a elevated surface that is appropriate with your flexibility and range of motion. You may be wondering, are reverse hyper extensions as uncomfortable as they look? Why, yes they are, but they are also quite useful and effective. As you can see, I am tapping my toe to the ground, I'm keeping my legs flexed and bringing them closer together as I lift up as high as I can without bending my knees. And here we have the much loved weighted glute bridge. Now there are many surfaces that you can lie on to do these. Is some people do them on a bench and some people do them on a decline bench and some people do them on this thing that I'm using. Whatever floats your boat, this is a really great exercise for your glutes. And so is this one, straight leg to deadlift. I like to do the straight leg variation. There are many variations of deadlifts. This happens to be my current favorite. The key is to keep your feet planted on the ground and to push your butt back while only slightly bending your knees so that you feel a pull in your hamstrings. And these are back extensions. I know that doesn't even make any sense. I used to think these were ab 
workouts, or this was an ab workout when I would see people do it years ago, and I recently discovered that it is a great glute workout and hamstring workout. If done properly or in a way that benefits your glutes and hamstrings, I guess. Um, as you can see, I'm not coming all the way down or all the way back, just enough to feel a pull in my hamstrings and squeeze my glutes and keep that tension. And to make it a little harder without weight, you can alternate using one leg. These ones are great to pair with any exercise you're doing. You can just carry the plate around with you. A weighted lateral raise. You basically rest the plate on top of your quad and lift your leg out to your side as high as you can. It's a little harder when you're not holding on to something. It's still doable. And this is an assisted pull-up machine that you may have seen other girls use as a glute pushdown machine, which is great supplementally. I wouldn't base my whole leg day on this exercise, but it's good to add in. And you definitely feel it if you push down through your heel, but you also want to make sure that your toe stays planted on the surface. Now these reverse lunges are great for your glutes and your hamstrings. You'll feel a little bit of quad action and you'll feel a little bit of your midsection working because in order to support the weight on your back and balance, you are using your core. So I like to start out with a pretty light weight and then work my way up to a weight that's a little bit more challenging. I, as you can see, I'm lifting my knee up and that's just so that I can make the exercise a little bit harder. It's definitely not necessary. You can step together in between. That's just the way I like to do it. Same with this. You can do this and do a little hop if you're using a light weight. I know it looks like a little bit of weight, but this is killer, trust me. And if you're not comfortable doing a little light hop, you can just keep your foot planted the entire time. And this is also great, you'll feel it in the sides of your glutes, so more of like your glute medius muscle rather than your gluteus maximus, but I feel like it gets all of it pretty good. I should have written this down before I started talking. I'm not very good at improvising. So if you want to burn out at the end with both feet, I highly recommend this. Once you're already a little exhausted, it is quite challenging. With this exercise, it's just important to keep your glutes down like you're sitting in a chair. And this concludes part one of my favorite butt exercises. Stay tuned for more. And like, comment, and subscribe with any questions, comments, or whatever. <laughs>